Hey everyone, my name's Patrick, and I'm playing a video game. Pokemon Silver, to be specific. Now, last time, we met our rival, Dr. Jan Itor. Uh, uh, let's see here, gave a mystery egg for Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, and caught a Hoot Hoot, who I named... Sorry, need to get control again. <laughs> Got control again. Who I named Restart. And I said I would level him up a little bit off screen, which I did. Sora too, just by one level, but with Sora. Um, I did not show this off last time. Uh, I'm on Route 29 right now. Hello. I can't climb ledges, but I can jump down from them to take a shortcut. Thank you. Now. This is Route 46. There's nothing really here for us to do right now. Oh, but there are some different Pokemon that we can catch, which we might run into. No. Gonna keep trying to level up, restart. Such a stupid name. Oh, by the way, I've set a personal goal. For myself this episode. I listened to my commentary in the last two episodes. It was okay, I guess. Uh, one common thing that they had was that I would ramble on and on about a certain game series that is not this game series. So, my goal for this episode had the goal last episode to actually catch a Pokemon, which I did. I'm so good. Uh, uh, but my goal for this episode is to not talk about that certain game series. Now, I want to see that Pokemon that we can see here. No, it's another Rattata. I'm going to keep training restart. Oh, Natters. So far, the only offensive move any of our Pokemon know is Tackle. Which is pretty basic. A lot of Pokemon, you know, at their low levels, only really know Tackle. Can't wait to get some new moves. Urgh. I figure when Restart levels up, I'll switch back to Sora, level him up one, then switch back to Restart. This is how I typically actually play Pokemon. Uh, I like, level them up in a pattern. Could get tedious to watch at some point, just watching me switch out Pokemon on so that, you know, they level up in a pattern like that. I don't know, maybe I'll cut it out. Eventually. Like I said, for for a little bit, I'm going to leave everything in. There it is! New Pokemon! Geodude. It's a rock-type Pokemon, which, considering the gym we're actually about to face, wouldn't be a bad idea to catch. In fact, I may catch it. I don't know. Hmm, do I want a Geodude? Oh, but yeah, since it's a rock-type Pokemon... Our normal type attacks will, like, do almost no damage. So, neither of our Pokemon are really suited to fight this thing right now. However, we could be suited to... Oh, do I want a Geodude? Oh man, this episode can't just be me sitting around thinking, D Do I want this Pokemon? Do I want this Pokemon? You know what? At the moment, I will catch it. In my Soul Silver version, I do have a Geodude. Like, yeah, it's not very effective. Pokemon types match up in specific ways, and normal will not really do much against a rock type like Geodude. 
Ooh, and in this generation, I think it fin- yeah, because we were, we were introduced to two typed Pokemons. Like how who, my hey, who to restart uh, put here is both a normal type and a flying type. Ooh. Let's try and catch it now. So Geodude is now rock and ground type. And ground types are really good types to have. Up. Uh, we got a Geodude! What do you know? Geodude, the rock Pokemon. It uses its arms to steadily climb steep mountain paths. <laughs> it swings its fists around if angered. Not much text can be on the screen at one time, I guess. Do I want to nickname the Geodude? <laughs> I like its sprite there. I like the sprite for rock Pokemon. I totally forgot that. Oh, man. What to nickname it? Um. Uh, I don't. <laughs> Ooh, I know. Come on. Oh, wrong button. I'll nickname it after a certain echidna from my favorite game franchise. Now, don't get me wrong. I really like Pokemon. I really, really do. But the game franchise that this echidna I'm thinking of is from, it's always... I don't know, it's been my favorite for a while. Okay, so now we have three Pokemon. Three Pokemon? Really? Really? Is it that amazing? Okay. We have three Pokemon. Uh, Restart isn't really fit for battle. Oh. Like, not even... Like, if I ran into a level 2 Rodata, would he be fit for battle? So, let's switch. Let's give Knuckles his big debut. Oh, also, um, you can also find another Pokemon on Route 29 called Sentret. I actually wouldn't mind having a Sentret, but I think it only really appears during the day. Oh, man. Knuckles here doesn't even have a stat-lowering move. He's only got Tackle Attack. Yeah, Knuckles, I'm gonna have to level you up. Oh, jeebus. Ah. Nope, not worth it. Okay, so I guess with Knuckles for a little bit... Like, Knuckles here is a good wall for right now. Since we're only running into normal-type Pokemon with just, like, Tackle and stuff. But, offensively, since he's only level 3... He's not really gonna do much for us. And since Restart's too weak, uh, I've switched to Sora here. So yeah, for a little bit we're probably gonna level up Knuckles with the whole method of, like, put him in, then switch him out real quick. Because otherwise... Ah oh man, that's gonna take forever. Yeah, we... Uh, I really want to level up Restart first, though, so I think I may, uh, until he's healed, uh, train Restart like that. In fact, so let's just put Sora in right now. Let's focus on getting Restart, that one level up. Then we can switch to Knuckles. I keep wanting to call them by their Pokemon names. Because I don't typically nickname Pokemon. I don't. I actually did start nicknaming Pokemon uh, when I played White. Uh, when I played Pokemon Y, it uh, kind of stopped. I nicknamed like one... 
I nicknamed three guys in Pokemon Y. One of them was because I had it in Pokemon White, so I wanted to have the same nickname. Um, I'm not sure why I nicknamed... Uh, I nicknamed the Legendary. I nicknamed Diveltal, uh... I nicknamed it kind of just a running gag between, well, actually, just between me. My friends don't really. But they kind of like it. Okay, Foresight. Foresight is not that useful move. Um, it makes it so that you don't miss as much. Like, you do, you're not going to miss the next time you attack. And also, um, ghost type Pokemon are not affected by normal type attacks or fighting. Um, and so if we ran into a ghost type Pokemon and used Foresight, then for the rest of the battle, we could uh, use normal or fighting type attacks on it and it would work. But there aren't that many ghost Pokemon as of Generation 2. There were only three in Generation 1. Uh, and then they added one more in Generation 2. And it, we're not level grinding anymore. I mean, I was, but... Alright, so restart, gain to level. Let's switch to Knuckles. So yeah, we're going to be getting into some trainer battles here now. Uh... Uh, will this be one of those different Pokemon we can see on this route? Nope. It's a hoot hoot. Okay. Now we switch to Sora. I typically don't like leveling up this way. Because I'm not sure if you get the effort value points. Effort value points are, uh, some, like, stat increases that are given to Pokemon when they leveled up, and those stat increases are based on whether or not they've been in battle, like they actually were in the battle. Because there's a way to level up a Pokemon uh, without having them ever battle, but they won't gain the effort value points, so they won't be as strong as, like, if you train them naturally. I usually don't pay that much attention to effort value points. They're called EVs for short, but there's actually a Pokemon named EV, so... I'm not gonna get y'all confused with that. Alright, here's our first instance of a... Trainer Battle! Actually, no, wait, we already had a Trainer Battle. I just lost, so I'm... I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on. Hey! Hey! Why do I look weak? You're the one wearing short shorts. And with just a Rotata on your party. I'm gonna try and have Knuckles beat... Well, Knuckles is totally gonna beat this Rotata. Oh man, but it's gonna take a while. Then again, if it keeps decreasing my defense, even though normal attacks won't be very effective, its tackle could actually do some damage. Oh, yeah! Oh, wait, but that was a critical hit. Yeah, we've got this, Knuckles. I'll be the one to set your heart free, true. Cleanse yourself of them evil spirits that got in you! Up, oh. Oh! 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 Come on, Knuckles! Yeah! My name is Knuckles. Unlock Sonic, I don't chuckle. I'd rather flex my muscles. I'm hard as nails. It ain't hard to tell. I break them down whether they solid or. Oh, almost leveled up again. But didn't. Oh, Knuckles, you okay there, buddy? Up, oh, another trainer battle. 
So yeah, from trainer battles, you also get money, but you can't catch their Pokemon, because that would be stealing. <laughs> the text actually does say, the trainer swatted away your Pokeball. Hey, don't do that. That's stealing. Ooh, Pidgey. Uh, another normal flying type, which we would be able to find if it was day. But, since it's not day, eh, you know, we're not finding any Pidgey. I might as well say the other Pokemon we can find on this route, too. Um, Weedle, which is a bug poison type Pokemon, and Caterpie, which is just a bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon aren't really all that good. Um, they're nice to start out with, though, because they evolve really fast. Yeah, when Pokemon reach a certain level, or some other circumstances, like given an item, their happiness is raised enough. Nice job, Knuckles, you leveled up. Yeah, I'll change out. Um, now I'll start leveling up Sora. Um, but yeah. When certain conditions are met, usually by leveling up, uh, Pokemon will change form and become more powerful, which is called evolution. I'm explaining... I'm explaining all the basics of Pokemon to the to the noobs out there. Nah, I understand. You know, there are some game series you might not have heard of before. If you haven't heard of Pokemon, you're kind of, you know... You've really kind of... I don't know how you've avoided hated hearing of Pokemon, but, you know, whatever. There's an item we'll get later, which will make leveling up Pokemon a lot easier. Yes, you did win before, because you had two Pokemon. These were the two, be two people who were battling and blocking our way before. Um, you also might be able to find... Uh, but yeah, bug Pokemon level up really easy. Like, they evolve really easy. Like, seriously, at level 7, which is... Like, level 7 is when they first evolve, which is really low level. If, yeah, this girl's not a trainer. I'm not a trainer. But if you look one in the eyes, prepare to battle. Yeah, trainers will battle you if they see you. They're huge jerks. Up. Uh, another hoot hoot. Yeah, I guess, really, at night, you're just gonna find a lot of hoot hoot... And Rodata, really. You're not gonna find any of the other Pokemon. Like, at least around this area. We will get to see some different Pokemon later, no matter if it's night or day, but... At the moment, yeah, I guess we're really just kinda... You know... Not getting to see much. There we go. Okay, Sora leveled up. Next, let's try and level up Restart. How much of this playthrough is just going to be me switching my Pokémon? Answer. A lot. Oh, you're a trainer. I thought so. Instead of a bug Pokémon, I found a trainer. Oh, that's right, there are bug catchers on this route. I could have introduced those Pokémon I was talking about. It... When we ran to these guys. There we go, Caterpie. A Caterpie is the most basic of basic bug Pokemon. Now, Hoot a flying type. Or Restart is. Restart's his name. Uh, so if we had any flying type moves, they'd be super effective against the bug type. And if Caterpie there knew any bug type moves, then it wouldn't be very effective against the flying type. But, you know, Caterpie don't really learn bug type moves, except for String Shot, which is a stat lowering move. Okay. Do, 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 do. Uh, I don't know when Restart here is going to learn its flying-type move. I know the first flying-type move it learns. 
But I don't know when it's gonna learn it. Ah, you're too strong. Well, you're using two Caterpie. Caterpie are even more pathetic than Rodata, but they level up a lot quicker than Rodata, so there's a, there's that advantage. Okay, so these, like here, this tree can be cut. Yeah, we'll be able to do something with those trees later, but for now, we can't do it. We can't do anything with these trees, but these weird looking trees, you know, we'll be able to do something with. Dark Cave. If Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. Ooh, there's a little Pokeball here, and these little Pokeballs are items we can pick up. I found an antidote. An antidote will heal a uh, poison. Oh yeah, the Poison Berry that we picked up earlier, um, that does the same thing, but since it's a berry, we can give it to a Pokemon, and if it got poisoned, it would use it automatically. Now, I'm in this cave here. Caves... Um, are all tall grass, in a sense. You know, you can counter a wild Pokemon at any point. Now, this cave's too dark for me to really explore right now. Uh, I may just walk around a bit, see if we can't... Because there is a Pokemon we can see here. In caves, there's a po... Yep, see, I can see that Pokeball there, but I can't see how to get to it. Or even if I can get to it. I may need a special item. There we go. Yep, there's that new Pokemon I was talking about. Zubat. Uh, Zubat is a poison flying type Pokemon. It's not too, too strong. Uh, though its final evolution form, uh, which I won't spoil, we'll, we'll get to that, you know... If we run into one. Uh, is like really fast. Like, it's one of the fastest Pokemon out there. And can learn some really strong moves. So, while a Zubat might not be much. Uh, its final evolution form is very much worth it. And its next evolution is actually pretty good too. But yeah, I'm not going to do anything in that cave right now. I just wanted to show it off a little bit. Uh, oh! What does this guy have to say? Uh, hold on. My phone. Uh, be right back, everyone. Okay. Back, everyone. It was nothing. Wrong number. Yeah, I, I kind of have to answer my phone. Uh huh? Oh, I lost control again. Uh huh? I walked too far today looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt and I'm sleepy. If I were a wild Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch. He's actually kind of trying to give us a hint there. Um, wild Pokemon can be easier to catch too if you inflict them with a status ailment. Like, say... I don't know what a bitter berry does. Um, like, say, if we put them to sleep. We can't really do status elements, though, at the moment. Found a Pokeball! There's a Pokeball in that Pokeball. Pokeballception! Let's battle this guy. I caught a bunch of Pokemon. Let me battle with you. Was I in the middle of talking about something before I took that call? I don't know. I'm going to assume not. Four Pokemon. Yep. And it's a bug catcher, so it's going to be all bug Pokemon. And it's not going to be very strong bug Pokemon. So, this is kind of going to get annoying. Yep, String Shot there lowers our speed. Gain 22. Okay. If we beat one more... Oh, Weedle! I'm about to see a Weedle. Weedle, uh... 
again, is very weak. It's basically a Caterpie, but it's a little better in the fact that, yep, it knows Poison Sting. We've just been inflicted with the status ailment Poison. So, we will start to lose HP bit by bit. Okay, we beat that Weedle, though. Get restart out of there. Yep. And let's switch to Knuckles. Luckily, yeah, nothing we're going to run into is going to be very effective against Knuckles here. Uh, but everything will still do 1 HP of damage, and he's only got 5 HP left, so... Won't really be keeping him out too terribly long. He's pretty slow. I mean, heck, he's a... It's a big rock. What do you expect? Of course he's not going to be very fast. Oh, another Caterpie. Will I change Pokemon? No. If I'm doing my math right, assuming I don't miss, Knuckles still should be able to beat this Caterpie. However, I'm also not counting for if it gets a crit. And I missed. Okay, we can do one more attack. Nope. Yeah, I gotta get Knuckles out of there. Switch you in for Sora. Yeah, your starter... A lot of people's starter will be their toughest Pokemon. That's not always the case. But since, you know, you start leveling up leveling that up first, and generally their evolved forms are really strong. You know. Knuckles grew to level 6. And learned Defense Curl. That'll increase his defense. Yeah, the starter is usually a pretty powerful ally. So, there are, you know, of course there are cases where other Pokemon will be pretty useful, too. Oh, yep. My flashing screen and that little sound, that <coughs> sound, found a good Pokemon in Dark Cave. I'm going to raise it to take on Faulkner. He's the leader of Violet City's gym. Up, oh, we're almost... In Violet City. Up. Uh, yeah, Hootoot's still getting... Uh, restart is still getting hurt by uh, Poison. But we're in Violet City now. I'm gonna hit the Pokemon Center real quick. Yeah, we're in Violet City. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, I'll heal, and then we'll end this episode off there. So, pretty big day. We uh, ran into some new Pokemon, caught Knuckles, and now we're in Violet City. Hmm, I'd, I'd say that's a pretty good episode. Oh, plus this one might be a little long. I wanted to end it when I got to Violet City, so I don't really know how long it's been. Alright, well, see you in the next video, everyone. Goodbye.